All right. Thank you all for joining us in our uh, Sound Goblin Storytime Sunday stream. I am, as always, your host, the Krampus. I'm Bograt. I'm Shiv. I'm Hunter Green. And I'm Vincent. All right. So, a couple things to address before we uh, get started here. Uh, the audio quality is a work in progress. Uh, steps have been taken uh, to adjust. So, uh -huh. to speak on the audio quality thing, uh, we do actually sound good. We're a little bit quieter. That is fixable. It's fixable as long as the window lets me out. There we go. <laughs> We'll go to. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. People say stuff. I repeat. Uh, stuff. All right. That's probably as good as we're going to get. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, so, second, before we start, uh, today's content warning uh, for Dongan Rampa 2. Uh, this game Same contains... as usual or extra special? Extra special today. Uh, this game contains mentions of suicide and sexual themes, as well as a general veneer of tastelessness. However, uh, there is an additional warning that I'm going to put up today, not to bury the lead or anything, but there is going to be some depictions or descriptions of, and possibly depictions on screen, of domestic violence. So, if that is something in addition to our usual uh, warnings that may upset you or that you don't wish to see, this is probably not the stream to watch. I just wanted to be very clear and upfront about that going into today's stream. Uh, I had intended to edit our uh, splash screen, but for a one-time thing that's going to come up this chapter, I didn't think it was worth changing the whole thing. Still, worth telling people about. And with that, we are going back into uh, Chapter 3. So, if you'll recall, Chapter 3 was a bit of a longer one. Uh, to start with, uh, the new island got opened. Uh, we found out that uh, Fihiko was alive. And was being treated there. He uh, got this snazzy eye patch. Lost an eye trying to save Peko from her assassination. Uh, we also found a sweet music venue where Ibuki decided to throw a party. And in the middle of that party, uh, Akane challenged Monokuma to a fight. But Nekomaru stepped in to take what would have been the killing blow on Akane. And due to the rule of the person breaking the rules must be punished, uh, Monokuma agreed to bring Nekomaru into the hospital for treatment so that he wouldn't die and Monokuma wouldn't technically be breaking the rules. You're not going to talk to Fuyuhiko? I think I just stared at him for a minute straight and then left. Yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was me spacing out. No particular hey. reason I didn't talk to him, just... Okay. See? Yes, unfortunately, with the uh, new eye patch and the you know, massive life-changing event. Uh, Fuyuhiko does not, in fact, start referring to us as Hajime Chan. <laughs> I have. Oh no. Boring eye patch yakuza. I will say that chapter th three is very 
<laughs> very stuffed with stuff. I think it's one of those chapters that could have been split up into two. Uh, chances are it's all shoved together because it's all relevant to whatever murder may or may not be going on. And Nagito here for crisis counseling. This seems like a terrible idea. I see. Hey. What? <laughs> well, this is new to le uh, uh, levels of delusional hopefulness. The truth. Right? Listen carefully. Get the duct tape. Yeah, this is extra even for <laughs> Nakato. Yeah. The worst part is everything he says is probably true and it's going to be really dumb. <laughs> yeah, say it sounds like he's gone full conspiracy theory. Yoko's there. Hey! <laughs> so... My name is Ibuki Miyoda. We're having a fever dream, aren't we? <laughs> Entirely possible. Wait! I will tell you, this is not a dream. We're not gonna wake up. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to stare blankly forward and just go, what? She finally broke. Um. <laughs> Double broke. 
All right, who fed them point. the special mushrooms? You've got him wrong. Yes. That's weird. Understood. <laughs> well, spouting gibberish is Ibuki's normal mode. We're worried because she's not spouting gibberish. <laughs> Actually, for her, that might be a normal body temperature. I was gonna say. life energy mm. well now well done that's right Disease. Despair. You're making that up. Actually, <laughs> it's true. Give Monokuma slightly more points for being more creative in, mo uh, in motives than the last game. I mean, <laughs> at this point, he would just be throwing a giant pile of money in front of us. Yeah. What? I think, a, I think a bouquet is just gullible. Hey, um... 
Down with the sickness, I'd say. Yeah. very confused and why is that a motive I can't wait I can't wait I think you're interpreting Lie. motive in way too loose and fast manner here Now we actually do need to tie him up. Nika, no! Hey. Understood. What the? Amazing. Crazy eyes. <laughs> yep. A spare eye. Right, someone break out the mace. <laughs> and you really get the spare eyes. At least he's honest. <laughs> Look, is that just bad? Let it happen. Look, Are if he dies there? from that, none of us killed him. Yeah. Impossible. Thank you, Gundam. Man, I don't want to see a normal Gundam. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see the Gundam with reversed uh, personality. He's probably like an accountant or something. Please wait. Anyway. Also, considering the fever, they'll probably pass out eventually. Yes. Screw it, someone just pick her up, she can't be that heavy. And back to the hospital, because we are going to the hospital a lot <laughs> this chapter. Understood. 
Understood. <laughs> it's the creator's attempts to change the drama to or change the uh for now <laughs> the genre to a hospital drama. Yes. Well, there's a lot of drama that goes on in this hospital, so I guess good job. Damn it! Next time on All My Despair. <laughs> that does sound like something Let's that Monokuma would actually this. put on. Yeah. Maybe. Well. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Um... Yes. Hey! <laughs> Thinking seriously is not something these people do. Yeah, that's a valid question. I'm surprised, coming from you. Jeez! Let me tell you this. Thank you, Hiyoko, bastion of that is... something. <laughs> Our stable rock of passive aggressiveness. And sometimes active aggressiveness. Which cockroach said that? <laughs> you. Another one of those... That's a perfect alert. Oh, which cockroach said that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that is your Discord notification. <laughs> Next alert on your phone. This is bad. Uh, it still doesn't quite beat pointing. That's <laughs> yes. Hey, hey. That's wrong. I mean, also, if they have a disease, quarantine is, you know, appropriate. Like... Signals. Hey, you! Semaphore flags. Ah. I'm gonna go with walking Fine. up and, uh, king taps just to help spread it. Cough directly into their mouth. <laughs> oh. Also, they're with... taking a lot of precaution to uh, stop spreading disease between themselves. Ah. It's apparently spread by small, tiny, invisible insects. Yeah, I think a lot of them are glossing over that. To be fair, that, that came from Monokuma, and most of them don't generally believe Monokuma's bullshit. Also, I think Monokuma was vaguely trying to destroy the disease or the something. This is the Tanaka Empire! Probably. 
you. I'll destroy you! <laughs> I mean, since it's a disease that was almost certainly introduced by Monokuma, they're also acting like Monokuma can't just infect anyone who wants. Jeez. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Look, unfortunately, most of our forward progressive <laughs> thinkers in this group are uh, either dead <laughs> or infected dead with despair disease. <laughs> Or us. Huh? Well, a Nagito that isn't infected with a despair disease like is this. questionably useful at best. He's not one of our forward thinkers. And to uh, be to be fair, Ibuki? we've gotten a lot of uh, good <laughs> clues from him during the investigation phase. Just he actually, you know, yeah, he's he, a menace during the trial itself. He actually kind of is because of that. It's strange you know, right also bog right if you're trying to say stuff we're not hearing you your mic is turned down or something oh i just haven't said right. anything in a while yeah it's, okay i just saw your um icon highlighting in discord and was wondering if like, uh he, he's a shit stirrer but because he's the shit, my icon was highlighting because my mic has been on mute for like 10 minutes and yeah he, he's a shit stirrer but because he stirs huh. shit it often points out things that you know may not have been noticed if he was trying to stir shit about them. You! Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be Jeez. us! Fuyuhiko and Makan taking care of the hey, hey. infected people here in the hospital. And everyone else is going to go uh, stay at the motel <laughs> that's on this island. So what you're saying is a murder is going to take place in the hotel because this disease is really meant to distract the more competent members of the group that might actually stop a murder. I'm hoping this is not the actual case, by the way. I think. Um. Prefer if Yoko was here instead. Oh no, they just didn't want an effective life. Well.
Yeah, I can't imagine why you haven't been sleeping well. <sighs> I don't know. Everything seems fine to me. Yeah, no one's tried to kill us yet. Well, I mean, other than Nagito trying to get all of us killed, but... Yeah, yeah, but I mean, Nagito's... I can't breathe! Hair boner! I have a hair boner. Mikan! Yeah. Ah, so that's what that was for. Move! I I can't breathe! I still maintain it was originally for Wi-Fi reception. No, you can't. Don't move around. Huh? Yeah! Ha 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 Probably move to the next picture. Yeah! There we go. <laughs> Giving me whiplash. It looks to me for all the world like that window on the left is or the window on the right is open. open and that someone's yeah. gonna roll out of bed and fall out of the hospital. <laughs> yeah. There's probably a pane of glass there, but it's not very clearly communicated. Uh, uh I wouldn't I'm sorry. guarantee that, but at the same time, it would take an awful lot of effort to actually roll out of a window like that like <laughs> it depends on the size like... of the person and their sleeping posture but yeah that'd be really difficult fair enough yeah like it's it's hey, hey. it's not like they'd be going into it like you on direction to fall out the window like they would hit the wall too if they were rolling that they, way they sleep sideways in their Don't bed and roll me. forward and, or up and down like summer ball. damn it oh no what whatever shall we do no, is he not... really Monokuma might, because he's uh, prone to stretching things, consider it murder if we don't give him basic medical care. I don't know how the class trial would uh, system would consider death by neglect. Especially if they're supposed to be free of them. Dude, I can see your hair bone. Put a hat on. Dude, did you see the size of that thing? A hat's not going to cover that up. Fucking wizard hat. <laughs> He's got one of those ridiculously high Don't cowboy hats me. you see in cartoons. 35 gallon hat. Mm -hmm. Fidget, fidget! <laughs> Monica was literally just standing in a corner going, Die! 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 Come on! Die, let's die. go! Well, Obviously, no! <laughs> let's look at his breathing and come back. Hodgman, what are you doing with that pillow? Look the other way. Hey! Well, it's will be an easy trial. Well? <laughs> uh, uh, <yeah>. Monica, hey. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Rosebud. Rosebud peas. Yep. Full of country goodness. Green penis. Uh. Wait. That's terrible. I quit. Just a handful uh, on the road. Of luck. There's a French fry stuck in my beard. Like. Ah, uh, they taste even better after you're dead. No, 
Makito is never going to die. Well, I mean, eventually of old age, but... Nah, he's an immortal. <laughs> yes! I highly doubt Nagito has inside him blood of kings. You know, just to be safe, he should probably chop off his head. <laughs> Damn there right. There could be only none. Please, please, none. Just, just <laughs> all of them. Did you hear the rebooting that? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, potentially with anyway. Henry Cavill as the main character, which uh, I'm cool with, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I have uh, certainly liked him well enough in The Witcher. Also, he's a gigantic dork and is apparently a huge <laughs> fan of the series, so... Mm. As much as anyone can be a huge fan of the series and not like the first one and maybe Endgame and then like the TV show, which was all right. Damn. The less right. said about Highlander 3, the sorcerer, the better. <laughs> oh, you're talking about that was fine. <laughs> Mario Van Peebles is out of his fucking mind. Well, yes. Here, you take the wheel. I'm tired of driving. You take the wheel. Ah. <laughs> So we're going to stop in and take a look at the other patients on the way to the, uh... The yes. lobby. Did you rule one? Slightly. She had a runny nose. Uh, yeah. Understood. And spirally eyes. Yes, and spirally eyes. Well, they have a spiral eyes. They have a despair disease. They have despair yes. eyes. They are all, in fact, a despairing. He's technically affected with gullibleness. Power of suggestion. How many of these like placards with chibi pictures of everyone do we have? Man, they gotta oh, have scores of them. <laughs> Anytime they need a to know for sure that it's there all. <laughs> So we just have a 3D printer that spends all day printing out placards with the chibi characters on them? Well, yeah. Never knows when he's going to need them. <laughs> well, you need to have a fresh block. Just has one of his many Monokuma copies solely devoted to just sitting there painting them all day. Plan on, on selling them afterwards on eBay to partially recruit the costs of this entire venture. Yeah. He's got an Etsy shop. Damn right. Yeah, PSP. It's a baby monitor. Huh. Yep. Have we read that piece of paper on the wall? Uh, I no, we have not. I think we did. But I don't know if it is possible to. If we get a chance here again in the lobby, I'll try and take a look at it. I don't know if that was there Why is there before? a fish icon on that camera? What's up? I've uh, made Zoom. There's also the other thing that we established in the previous episode was that this island has the, huh. like, big electronic store strip mall. Yeah. All right! I think you did something useful for once. <laughs> Yeah, so the thing about that is that, like, now that we actually have <laughs> access to Electric Avenue and therefore, you know, a bunch of, like, electronics and parts, uh, Soda can actually start making shit now. Yeah. What? 
the the big thing was the only real place that you'd expect to find like mechanical parts That's and stuff right. like that. The uh, the airport is just filled with empty shells of vehicles. Yeah, so the he planes had nothing to work with. But now, yeah, now that he actually has parts and shit, he actually does start building stuff. Like I said, he's not like Gilligan's Island professor where he can just like grab like coconuts and palm leaves and shit and huh. build complex machinery. But now that he actually has access to, you know, circus Damn and right. machinery, he can make all kinds of shit. Even so... <laughs> but that's not gonna be a plot point. This class trial's bonkers, yo. Damn right. <laughs> this will be important in the upcoming trial. Mm-hmm. Prepare yourself a long list of all the things that will be important during the class trial. Ahem. Are those comedic I'll scrolls that reaches the floor? Trip executive committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Now to start collecting evidence on why the person staying next to me in the class trial is not a ghost. <laughs> you guys? What are you thinking? Like this. Yeah, okay, I was thinking that the paper was not up there at first. So. <laughs> it's been up there. That's been I up thought there. earlier. Okay. Yeah. We might yeah, not have been I able don't to interact think, with the I don't think, Yeah, I don't think we were actually able to look at it until Monica <laughs> points it out. Well, at any rate, this is fortuitous. In other words... What are you saying? Hmm... Unbelievable. Jeez. You're pathetic. There's no need for attacks. Eh, that's one of those instances where the uh, voice lines and yeah. the text lines don't match. All things considering, he's actually been pretty chill lately. 
yes. Uh, turns out having somebody try and murder somebody on your behalf and then go through that whole process and then them getting murdered and you desperately trying to save them and almost dying yourself uh, vastly changes your outlook on life. Yeah, go figure. Yeah. So who do you think we're going to find dead tomorrow? Everyone. Monokuma Hajime. The rest of this game is Ghost Trick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we have a lock on our door so you know, we broke it. to you by Monokuma! Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Yo! Damn right! Hey, bastard. I have no idea what the camera just did there, but... Anyway. That was interesting. <laughs> the game's like, no, you really don't want to check out Nagito. Let's just a, leave. A quick check outside the front <laughs> door before we go talk to Fiiko. Oh, he's dead. This is bad. Oh, if only. I have developed cryogenics technology. I will sever his head, keep it frozen until a future time, and we can fix despair disease. <laughs> that guy was murder. He's not dead. I'm sure you said sever his head for part of that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that murdered people. All the important parts are still there. I think. I'm not a doctor. 
Tarion's Nagato, uh, the head is probably the least important part. Damn. Why is there just a bunch of bananas on a stalk in her room? Stuck to a wall. Oh no, it's on a stalk. Yeah. Jeez. This is either on purpose ridiculousness or the artist really doesn't know how bananas work. Well, Nagato's got I'm what not I positive wish considering this game. <laughs> Nagato's got like spider lilies in his room, and I forget what a book he has. <laughs> Well, we I mean, also, check. in fairness, uh, most people don't know how to bananas work. They still think they actually grow on trees. Yeah, granted. It doesn't help that we call it a banana tree, but it really isn't. It's a bush. Grow yeah, them in the ground. <laughs> like potatoes. Because uh, they're, they're actually just really weird berries. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Buki's got a sunflower. They're, they're, oh. they're really weird berries that yes. grow on a really tall bush. In some climates, but not ours, in spite of how many banana trees get planted around here. Yeah. Understood. Now, what we do have a good climate for growing, actually, is olives, but nobody bothers with that, and that upsets me. Uh, how much maintenance is really the question? Anyway. Olive trees are remarkably resilient. They are, uh... They are hard to kill, even on purpose, actually. But yeah, mostly you get citrus grown around here, followed very distantly by avocado. Now then. Hold on, I've got an idea. I'm going to need, like, a gallon of fake blood and you to stay out of frame for a second. Oh, God! Oh, God, they're all dead. It's horrible. It's everywhere. What's up? No? When are you going to show us your handsome face? <laughs> ho, ho. I'm not the person who looks like the illegitimate nope. love child of a street shark. Also taking the entire island's supply of gummies with her. Hey, hey. You. Well. What? However... Hey! Hey! Even know what going on there. It could be a vector. You can't.
Do you think they waited patiently? Maybe. Do you think they know what patience is? Yeah, yeah people are the plenty of patience. Yep. Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Right off again. Good night. Or two. Damn it. That was kind of quick, actually. Yeah. Jeez, you're pathetic. Jeez. Yeah, that's not creepy to walk into in a dark hallway. Yes. Someone actually worried about me. Yo! Damn it. Jeez.
Jeez, you're pathetic. That missing Monokuma slot is still bugging me. I assume we don't have access to where it is yet? No, we don't have access to the last Monokuma. Damn shit. Actually, more annoying that it's a missing slot in the middle. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. It really makes you feel like you missed something. Intentionally made that way for optimum despair. Monokuma. Hey! Hey! I'm sure our protagonist doesn't have any sort of deep-seated psychological issues. Certainly not. None whatsoever. That's when I decided not to talk to Gundam at parties anymore. <laughs> <laughs>
Again? <laughs> we gotta start pushing the couch up against the door. <laughs> we weren't done using this picture. No. Oh, this is an entirely separate picture. Yeah, different location. I can't again. I think she's in a different location on him too. So yeah. I, I, I can't breathe. Also, his uh, hair boner is crooked. Yeah, yeah, and spent his hair boner. Mm, now I can finally relax and sleep. Wait, huh? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Ray Nagito's not gonna die of the plague. One of the worst parts about the back half of chapter three is oh. they warp us to a lot of separate places, so we run down a lot of valuable uh, steps for our virtual pet. I mean, if you want to get virtual pet steps, just go grind on a lot. Yep. Walk back and forth. I'm not that broken up about it. There is no Nagito, only Zool. <gasps> he's not cured, he's just not, you know, well, dying. I think I liked him better when he was dying. <laughs>
Man. That all having been said, we should probably check on our pet to make sure it hasn't pooped itself again. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Yeah, we only have another like 300 steps till next level anyway, so we should be good. My PSP Go has received a new update. As it turns out, the rest of the cast is actually just playing on a plane, forgot to tell us. So I'm going to take a moment to reiterate that I do not make these content warnings just for your kicks. Yeah. Uh, at this point... If you have any problems with uh, visual depictions or mentions of suicide, now is your time to go make a sandwich and uh, not watch. Hey kids, y'all want to see a dead body? Also, like, yeah, they they put the bag on the head. Not sure why. I don't want people to know who's doing this. Performance art has gotten really weird these days. Seeing a part of that's supposed to be suspicious.
Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. You fiend. What? I won't let you! Gentlemen, there has been a murder. C could it be? Or a suicide, I, or a suicide, I mean a murder. I renounce you! I mean, based, based on the hair coming out of the, uh... Yeah. Uh, or that stack is Ibuki, which means person who was... had the susceptible suggestion to me? Yep. Also, the person in the video had different hair. Fiend. But still. Well, I think I say also the person in the video was I, I was fairly certain was not Ibuki. That's... Just by like uh hand. Hey. Look yeah. way too big first. Well, it's safe to assume that. Fine. So it's probably hung Habuki or Habuki hung Hanger Fell, and then also made the video to make it look like yep. it was just happening what happened sometime <laughs> during the night. Um. Yep.
No shit! In a sense. It's got nothing to do with you! Damn right! As the door stays in place and the rest of the building crumbles around it. I mean, in all actuality, when you uh, try to force open a door like that, uh, you typically <laughs> actually break the frame more than you break the door. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of how it works. Also, shoulder check charging a door is a really dumb idea and a really good way to dislocate your shoulder. You should use your fucking boots. Oh, that's new. Yeah. All well, right, damn. and that is the end of the daily life section of chapter three. And our first da -da -da double kill. A body has been discovered. I'm well, going to be stepping away for a second. After a certain I'll be right amount back. of time has passed, the class yep. trial will begin. A body has been discovered. Now then. After a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Thanks for playing it twice, Monokuma. Well, there were two bodies. It's true. Monokuma is nothing if not a stickler for, uh, procedure. It's... also potential that that's an automated system. Uh... 
Like, I would not put it past that being just like a pre recorded video set oh, to up. like trigger any time the like security cameras around the place Maybe? detect three living people in the presence of a body i mean it's it's obviously pre-recorded so maybe not so much set as just literally just presses the button twice because it, amu uh, because it amuses monokuma pretty much something like that yeah <laughs> Uh, Monomi is broken. This is just. Yeah, she's been broken from day one, so. Yes. Oh. It. Um. Manami was the killer. She knows all about this. Jesus, it's nice of them to have a system for lowering that. Normally, we had to climb up rickety fuck ladders to get up there and do shit. It's also kind of a weird juxtaposition seeing this horrible tragedy unfold at the Titty Typhoon. What the heck? I mean, ah! also, let's be real here, it's kind of weird me? shit to see Hiyoko just like gaffer taped to the pillar like that. <laughs> give the killer credit that's really industrious though yeah just right to, just try to tape a dead body like that jesus this is troubling kyoko is small but it's still going to be a pain in the ass D damn it oh so now they're cured Yeah, somebody died, so no the motive was defeated, so there's no need for, uh, no need for the motive anymore. Hey. The disease lasts the plot convenient amount of time. Got it. Yes. <laughs> no, Monokuma just specifically, uh, yeah, specifically yeah. ended it. You, you, you say you that say? as if you didn't expect Monokuma is completely in control of the despair disease. Right. Nanites. Got it. Phew. I mean, Monokuma basically had the cure the entire time. Literally just put it in place as a motive so that people would kill somebody. File. See ya later! There will so, be an know, explanation that, for all the weirdness. This yeah, but you know, be. now that the uh, the the killing has happened, the despair disease doesn't need to happen anymore. So exactly. Monokuma got rid of it. Monokuma got bored. Don't ask questions. Let me tell you this. Don't ask I questions. Mean, this is a consistent character. Yeah, I mean, this is consistent motivation for Monokuma across both games. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, essentially. 
<laughs> once once a motive has caused a murder to happen, Monokuma doesn't really need that motive to exist anymore, so fuck what it. What do you yearn for? I haven't even seen Nekomaru since he got injured. No. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> hey. Yep. I was an emotional this wreck before the disease, on. so, you know. Nothing changed. Give it to me! Yeah, we're not going to trust you. Um... Anomi is fine. Yeah, she uh, defeats the Mono Beasts. Yep. In what way? In some ways, yes. In some ways, no. <laughs> Damn right. Could something do with the fire coming out of the mouths up there? Yeah, but I mean, that's always been there, and it wasn't this hot before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. Cause of death was blood loss from her throat being slit, and her death was instant. Yeah. I don't think those two really no. add together. No. <laughs> find out I think have confidence no con okay. there's a smash thing there yep These are the camera and the transmitter from this side of the I connection. see, I see. This, too, must be the will of causality. This is not the will of causality, this is the will of someone with a hammer. Or, like, their um... foot. 
Or or even just the floor. Well, yeah, just, you know, happy birthday to the ground. Point is, not... Well, I suppose it is causality in a way. Uh, something happened, and then that caused the hammer. Fine. Or the, uh... The... I mean, equipment says that to be everything destroyed. is causality, so I guess that does kind of work. <laughs> oh. He is technically correct. That's type of correct. <laughs> That's type of correct, yeah. Oh, we are going to be getting so many truth bullets, boys and girls. Yeah, this one's a, this one is a big one, as you Damn may expect. Right. A, both from the fact that this has been the longest chapter so far, and B, there are two murders. So. Like. Hey! That would also actually explain why the door broke open the way it did. Yep. I mean, there is an argument that can be made there. At the same time, if it was a drumstick, it wouldn't have tailed against the force of four people hitting the door even once. Hmm. That's also probably true, unless they were, like, more exploratory the first time. Or something. I get it. Well, they, they are uh, teenagers. One of them is weird. And, uh, two of them, as they pointed out, are girls. Huh. Keep on making a point about that. I can break a drumstick over my knee. I would also, given that, uh, what some of the girls in these games have been capable of, them being a girl on next year's probably can't break down a door. It wasn't any of the physical ones. Yeah, I was it, gonna say, it, even, it's the gamer even, girl and the nurse. E even still, the actual yes, the the huh? nurse who is strong enough to choke us to own nearly to death in our sleep in her sleep. But regardless, uh, drumsticks do not have that much tensile strength. Yeah. Like. Well, see, ah, it was Slimer. Ah, damn it, Slimer. <laughs>
Wait, can we track her down and figure out why the hell she damned it in her mouth? I feel we need more explanation here. I feel like we should watch just leave that alone. Too many <laughs> watch one too many cop dramas where they do that with every suspicious substance. <laughs> this is pure uncut cocaine. I should not have put that in my mouth. Alright, so for this game, you're going to be playing the character of Mekon. Does she have great dialogue? Mm. Uh, have you ever seen the ghost stories going, dub? <laughs> <laughs> um. What are your opinions on mumble rap? Truthful of Mekon herself. We're literally going to fire Mekon at someone. <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh no! Huh, <laughs> <sighs> okay. Lots of stuff here. Doesn't seem like it'd be that weird of a thing for them to have. Yeah. Yeah. No. Say ropes seems like the type of thing they would have there. <laughs> Nonetheless, the objects and buildings in this place seem to be very much intentional. Yeah. Think she didn't run too far. Well. I see. So I'm gonna call it now. Uh, that is not how she dies. Was the Monica Mathal ever been wrong about cause of death? Hmm. No, it, but it didn't say that she uh, died from the uh, rope. It just said she died yeah. from uh, choking. Yeah, yeah crushed like, windpipe. Yeah, crushed windpipe. Uh, that being said, in this game so far, no. Uh, in the first game, there was an instance where the cause of death was updated in the Monokuma file when we discovered something. Yep. 
Yes, but I think it was because we didn't know what the murder weapon was at the time, and then we discovered it. If I'm if I'm recalling that one correctly. Yeah, but that means it, it just it, there, so... it, it is possible for the Monokuma file to be updated as evidence is uncovered. Yeah. In this particular instance, though, yes, as was noted, the only thing listed as cause of death was basically suffocated in a crushed windpipe. It did not yeah. actually say specifically anything about being hung. And that would explain why the video seemed to be someone else doing it. Strangled is entirely a possibility, though they could have actually been strangled with that rope. That is also true. No take candle, but you take truth bullet of candle. I think it means she caught whoever was, uh, was setting up that. More than likely, yeah. Safe back confirmed there shouldn't be any blood from, uh, Luffy. Yep. And it happened after we saw the hanged body or something. More than likely. With blood. Or maybe not. Well, no, because I'd have to dress the body up, so it'd be before... Eh, okay. So it'd be before they got strung up, so probably before we got here. Dress which body up? Yeah. Uh, Ibuki's. You wouldn't really need to dress her body up. Damn right! Yeah. Okay. Oh, they... If they're using the same outfit in the video that they put on Ibuki here, they'd have to change out of that outfit and put it on Ibuki. But the outfit in the video was the hospital robe. Hmm? The, the person in the video had one of the hospital robes on. Right, he's saying that if they were wearing like... a robe for the shot, and they'd, case have to re they'd have to re put it back on Ibuki. Yeah. In any case, I'm going to go eat. Okay. Yeah. Almost as if that would give something away. I've seen this before. 
Yep. And you could. Yeah, that's a uh, that's the other thing too. Is apparently the killer managed to uh, tape Pioko's body up in the like handful of minutes when we ran to uh, the uh, motel. Yeah. Clearly, it was the four days of destruction. How can you accuse Gundam of anything? He is a good boy. Hey! I didn't accuse Gundam of anything. I accused the Fort Davis devastation. Yes, they were acting oh, no. independently. Ah. Oh. So when we get to select who's the killer, it zooms Actually, in on Gundam's jacket and scarf. Well, the, the real trouble here is we'd have to choose which one of the four Davis that's instructions right. was actually the killer. Ah, that's true. It's a good thing we've become such good friends with Gundam so we can know his friends inside and out. Yep. Only someone with huh? intimate knowledge of uh, Gundam and his four Dark Davis can solve this crime. I miss the diseased, uh, Agita. That's weird. Yo! Perhaps... Bye. 
it. Isn't that right? See? Blood Ocean. Now, weird thing, they never bothered to make a second texture for the AC unit here, so if you looked back at the music venue uh, during, like, the concert, it's still set at 86, it's according still to graphic Ah. Yeah. It, it uh, was not like... set that high, though, yeah. at that time. Almost like they didn't want something to be clear. So you have appeared. Everett, I know. <laughs> I can see it! Go, my four Dark Devas of Destruction! Hey, speaking of the Dark Devas of Destruction. Now, Gundam, if you just had to make a wild guess, which of the four Dark Davis of Destruction do you figure knows how to tie a hangman's knot? Why, that would of course be- oh, wait a minute. <laughs>
How pitiful. Scrap of thick paper. Back there, it's that home. What if our talent is super high school level roadie and we are the staff? Oh, you're think you're that, being very you? kind, not going immediately for the uh, piece of paper that clearly has a <laughs> uh, rip in it equal to the piece we took off the thing. Yep. So what I miss other than like the four deleted messages in chat? Uh, apart from our usual spam of uh, advertisers, uh, four we found a bunch four of different ones at the same time. But yeah, <laughs> we found a ahead. bunch of uh, specific clues. Uh, we found the hemp bag that we saw in the theater was the one that mm -hmm. was over Ibuki's head. Uh, we found a strange piece of paper <laughs> on the baton lighting. Uh, we found, uh, Hyoko's motel key. But, uh, Nagito has periodically popped up to make points and arouse suspicion Man. on certain things, as he is wont to do. Yeah. Basically standard, uh, Nagito stuff. Right? Oh, and we also found that the curtain for the stage was not mean. made for that stage. It was something grabbed from the supermarket. Ah. Because it had the supermarket's logo on a little sticker. Hmm. Damn it. Yes, once again, Nagito gets cheated out of helping the murderer. It's very clearly evident when you first walk into the room. There's that uh, cloth down there. Yeah. yeah. Or the thick black paper in this case. Yeah. Please. Please don't be that dumb, Hajime. <laughs> what does it mean?
Oh, you see, Hajime has a mind like a locomotive, which means once it gets going, it's fine, but while it's building up steam, it just ain't worth anything. Also, in fairness, if your deductive reasoning uh, relied on how well you could play mini games, especially ones you're, where you're waiting for an H to appear in your head. Need to make sure we touched everything in here that we needed to. All right, and we are now done with the music venue. Hooray! To get out of here before it smells like two lukewarm dead bodies. Alright, so what did I miss? Uh, so... Uh, I believe you left when we went to the storage room, so we found the place where the scrap of paper came from that Gundam found for us. Uh, and it turned out to be from, like, wallpaper that they keep back there. The same kind of wallpaper that's on the... the... Good pillars right now. Yep, okay. So if you're feeling lost in this conversation this right now and not remembering the, the movie, that's because we would rather pay a million dollars than not see the movie. So we're like the yeah. only person on the island who didn't watch the bad movie in the theater. This would be Thomas that will pay a million dollars in the future to have not watched it. Yep. Hmm. Especially like how we didn't actually get a choice in the matter. It's like just plain huh? Hodge Maze says no. Yep. Yep.
I am concerned. Yep. See? That means if I kill someone right now, I can't possibly be a killer. It's shank. Yep. <laughs> Fine. Face your powerlessness! Instincts. Well, Yeah, so uh, it turns out everybody except for us watched that movie. Yep. Of course. Yeah. You. We refused. I mean, it's not like everyone has, you know, future a million dollars. We're especially lucky that we're somehow going to have a million dollars in the pay uh, Monokuma. Um. Right? Well, that or we'll be dead, so we won't have to worry about it. Um. Fair enough. It ironically gives us negative motivation to kill someone because that would mean we'd have you to get off right. the island. No Monaco on my major amount of money. True. Or we just plan a plot to kill Monokuma. Can't owe money to the dead. That could prove crazy difficult at the moment. Okay. Now, we can finally leave the music venue. Currently, Monokuma has sci-fi levels of technology, and uh, we have no clue where or where Monokuma actually is. Or the person behind Monokuma. Oh, he's in his cave, clearly. He went back there. In any case, Grump, as you were saying. Uh, sorry, we, we have a large amount of places to go check. Um, so, I'm going to be checking them in the order that the guide I'm following goes for them. Okay. Which is why you'll see me pass up places that are very obviously points for me to check. Pet. I did the theater first. Now showing the wizard upon me. Hello there.
I see. Hey! Did you call me? Wah wah? What are you gonna do? <laughs> huh? <laughs> that just uh, you paid 1.5 million dollars for a sticker? Listen up. That's future me's problem. On the one hand, that is an incredibly dumb thing you did. On the other hand, the hope that you'll someday have 1.5 million dollars and pay off the sticker? Oh, Here. right in my veins. <laughs> Today on the state this time. Look forward to it, okay? Hey. Alright, I'll roll it up, put it into a bullet. Uh, the fact that it's probably going to be incredibly relevant is going to annoy me. <laughs> yeah. The dumb movie? No, the ticket to the dumb movie. Yeah, time's probably going to be important. All right. Yes. Not gonna lie, every time I see it, it looks more like a folded up t than a, uh... It does look like a folded up t-shirt. That's the original one I thought it was until I mentioned it was a tote bag. Yeah. It's still better than the one from Fallout 76! What's this? Mm. <laughs> Too bad! You're so stupid! <laughs> Shocking! Say that pisses me off. Oh, Kuma's account has been added to the truth. Well, place. now. Now then. I can't wait! I can't wait! Alright. I guess it's time to go watch this garbage movie. Uh. Um. No, 
know, we don't need to see this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody wrote on the left-hand side of the wall, this movie sucks. Now, Ben, please relax and enjoy the film. And Naughty Bear on the right. I'm guessing Monokuma did the one on the right. Probably. I'm a naughty bear. Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. I'm glad it's narrated. One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. Ah, oh, the killer was an Apache attack chopper. And I knew it was the whole time. away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. So he began his journey to see the wizard Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monami Scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide, the Monami Scarecrow hanged herself and died. He also met a Monami Lion who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows. He also met a Monami Tin Man who was missing a heart, so Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Ah, uh, there's some budget cuts. Eventually, yep. one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monami. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people, took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. And he lived happily ever after. The end. Surprise appearance by King Monokuma. Phew. Stay oh, classy, that was Monokuma. <laughs> so. Bye bye. <laughs> Nah, that's the appropriate response. I need the Calculon drop of that was so bad it gave me cancer. Kind of for Hiyori? I mean, one though? For Hiyoko? Well, one was tied to a tree, one was hung. It's a loose interpretation, but... Yeah. I think our classmates just aren't good at mysteries. Okay, then where's the one who got chopped up in little tiny bits? Well, we just said there wasn't going to be a third one earlier. Yeah, nice, nice two murders. Uh, actually, no, there is. A... It's dumb. Yeah, they smashed the shit out of the security camera and uh, monitor. Yeah. Into junk yeah. metal. So that would be the third one. Made of iron, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Now we are done in the theater.
course produce. Now we've seen the shitty move and we still owe a million and a half for a chicken. Yeah. 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 Well, we bought the burlap sack, or not burlap, but uh, hemp sack instead. Could have had that tote. Yep. So we've never been able to go into any of the rooms in the motel. Well, we have a key now. Yes, now we can. Hey, Gundam. So you have appeared. Yeah, I'm already right here. <laughs> you can hide your presence a bit. I literally walked up to you. I've been staying in front of you the whole time. I can't Gee. walk up and hey, Gundam. Listen well. <laughs> Center room. Got it. Thanks. Stench is that bad, huh? Considering the previous occupant, yeah, probably. Damn right. Body discovery announcement's kind of worthless in this situation. I see. Because, like, five people, or sorry, four people got hey. through the door at once. Yep. yep. Yeah. So there's no way to tell how many people saw the bodies before when you go in, or when they went in. Um. The body discovery triggered at the same time for both bodies, but yeah. it could have been one, two, or three people coming in that triggered the announcement. Right. Well, two or three. Yeah. We we know for um, Kabuki's body case, there's... There couldn't have been any more than one other person... I see. ...who had discovered it prior to them bursting. Not necessarily true. It, no, absolutely true. How do you figure? Oh no, because so we because we might... came in. They actually brought it up wow. in this conversation. If we had come in the door, seen Ibuki's body, and the the announcement had triggered, that would mean that two other people had seen Ibuki's body prior to us. Right. Two or three yeah. other people? Because we already nope. established that Monokuma is inconsistent well, on whether or not he counts the murder. I... No, no. No, he, he, he certainly doesn't count the murder, is what he actually said. It Correct. Took, it took no, some... He, he, he actually did say that it varies on a case-by-case -case basis. Yes. In that particular case, he was not counting yeah, In that particular case, he was not counting it, which means he sometimes counts it and sometimes doesn't. So our number is either three or four. It's not consistent. Yeah. But well, yeah. Event, it's not really relevant in this case, per se. I don't think we can really construe much facts from it. No, the body announcement is very rarely actually wow. part of the... Uh... Yeah. They, they basically do it like once per game where the body discovery announcement is actually an important clue. Because like in the first game, it was technically an important clue for the uh, Hifumi one. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, the Hifumi Celeste one. Hmm. And then in this one, the body of discovery announcement was actually an important clue for the last murder, but... Yeah. Doesn't really yeah. mean much of anything here, as you can tell, because uh, there's no truth bullet for it, so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. At that, it wasn't an important announcement for the murder per se, or it wasn't an important thing for the murder per se, it was for uh, after the fact stuff. Huh? Jeez. Good news, it's not downing him. Three Higos account.
Oh my! Um... See just in the corner there. Excuse me, occupied. The fifth Monokuma. No. Oh, that Monokuma didn't want to be found. They never do. Um. Because she's an antisocial brat. However, you know, fear of getting murdered. Perhaps. Um. You are right. Um... Perhaps... Yoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Uh, um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Um... It cannot be!
And leave. Yep. And to the hotel. To the uh, hospital. The hotel we were just at. No, that was the motel. The hotel the and hotel? the motel are two separate. The motel? Areas. What about the Holiday Inn? I feel like Monokuma would not leave the light on for us. Well? Hajime. That's right. Okay, that's another important thing. Oh. There's no blood on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so my... ...assumption of what occurred... ...was that at this point... ...when the video is shown... ...Abuku was already hung. Yeah. Yep. And the background we see there is just the black... Uh, ...tarp hung up on the... Uh, ...lighting rig. They, they do this little shoot thing here, then they, they turn off the light and smash the camera. Pull the tarp down, part of it gets ripped off and is left up there. Well, they didn't so much turn off the lights as um, wait for the candle to the turn out at the right time. Yeah. Like, candle goes out, they break the camera. Uh, they remove the tarp, so uh, Ibuki's body is there. 
Uh, the thing they probably didn't plan on was uh, uh, Hyoko showing up. Yeah. Yep. Man. Or actually, there's a slight problem with that. Oh, what happened is Hibu they probably didn't plan on smashing the camera originally, but Hibuki showing up, they decided to imitate the well? uh, film as just another throw off. No, I think by the time that was actually shot, Hibuki shouldn't be dead at that point. Hmm. I don't think Hibuki dies until after Hyoko's at her next slip. Because the uh, the blood on the, the shoes. I think she was dead. I think wasn't uh, hanging at that point. Hey. Actually, no, because yeah. Yeah, because she had the Yoko blood. Had, so she yeah, lost he, the blood. Yoko so I think that Hyoko came in, saw something going on. He slit uh, Hyoko's throat. Uh, then had a buki hang herself. Mm -hmm. The real question comes into when did Hiyoko die? Because there was no evidence mm. of her death prior to uh, you. them returning. Yeah. So, like, she died within that 10 minutes. Uh, if it all happened in the back room? <laughs> I've got two potential suspects right now, but the problem is a lot of there's a lot of stuff missing to actually connect it to them. You've obtained the surveillance monitor video finally as a truth bullet. Well, they won't want to have us a truth bolt until the murders have actually been confirmed, so... Now then! I think that was the first opportunity. Is that seriously a... All right! Oh. A couple of guys with monotone masks on their head. Oh yeah, we, on we've, we've kind of only glossed over it, but there's yeah. a bunch of, like, doctors with monokuma heads working in the exam rooms. Yep. They've been there. Yeah, they've, they've been there. That's not a new thing. That's old Kentucky Monokuma, and he's been there. Hey, hey! Like... There's a gray alien yep. on the slab, too. I was gonna say, that's an alien. Uh. That's what I'm hearing is, you know, just one alien. Oh, that way to heaven. <laughs> uh. Uh, they're either great doctors or terrible doctors.
because... Hey. Chiaki, please don't turn into one of the weirdos on this island. I need please someone normal during the trial. We can eat ice. Too bad. Aww. And a sharp, stinging pain that I never saw again. <laughs> hey, hey! Well? See? Uh, you've been around here long enough to know she acts childish. She really wanted to poke her eyes out. Not her fault. Oh, how's finish. everybody doing? It's me, Monokuma! Yay! Awesome! The class trial's gonna start, you know. So we've now found so, all the make sure things you guys we need come for the class to trial. Monokuma Rock. I'll see you soon! And to go to the glass drop. it out here. Don't forget well, to check the pet before well, we go on. Yes. Mm, that's a good idea. Yeah. Mocking rocks in the middle island. It's been a while since we did a class trial. Okay, so before we go in, let's do our usual uh, round of predictions. Uh, I mean, also that being said, I was going to point out that it is three o'clock now, and the trial is probably going to take a couple hours, so we we'll probably call it here after we get predictions. Mm. So yeah, we'll do predictions, then we'll call it here. Uh, with that in mind, uh, Shiv, we'll start with you. Uh, I uh, have to continue my trend of blaming Fukuhiga. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly it is his fault. One of these times I'll get him. Uh, as far as an actual prediction... Um... I'm not really sure at the moment. Yeah, this one, uh, this one is not one nearly as obvious. Just like 
the details well, we've seen. Uh, Hunter, do you have a guess? I've got two suspects based on two different uh, paths. Okay. Uh, from what we saw in the video uh, that he was watching uh, of the apparent suicide, the only person whose body type I think matches that would be Soda. Also, I think no, I don't. I don't know if it came up as a truth bullet while I was away. I think maybe the idea that the uh, that the communications devices only worked as far as the venue, uh, since he is the one who designed them, I could see that him setting up for that. Okay. Okay. My other My... suspect would be uh, Mikan being infected with a despair virus. Her opposite is absolutely. Uh, abusive and murderous, and uh, she's somehow a mastermind when she's under the effects of the drug or of the. Okay. Well, my my suspicion, actually, not really based on the video, but based on basically everything else, is soda. Simply because this feels like a murder that was put on by someone who uh, has a background in engineering, like technical aptitude and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. With Fair absolutely enough. no idea what the motive would be, but that was the same as last trial, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. same here. Like, I, I'm missing a lot of stuff to make exclusive, but those are my two. Yeah, but the motive is completely in the dark on this one. There's not. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, well. One of these days, we're going to catch that Yakuza on the act. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cosma Kiryu has never, never killed, killed a man. man. Yeah, but this isn't Cosma Kiryu. <laughs> All right. So, thank you for joining us on our Sound Goblin Saturday yep. stream. Or Sound Goblin Sunday stream. Uh, join us on Tuesday when we continue our playthrough of Pokemon Black White 2. Or a randomized run. And see what yep. nonsense Somehow we run into Somehow more insane than Danganronpa. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Uh, and then join us on Saturday when we continue our playthrough of Resonance of Fate. Mm -hmm. And then join us back on Sunday for the class trial of Chapter 3. Until then, I've been your host, Krampus. I've been Bograt. I've been Shiv. I've been Hunter Green. And I'm Vincent. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>